Good morning everyone and welcome to part two of the Liverpool vlogs. It's about nine-ish? Nine-ish, yeah. It's nine-ish. We are just having breakfast. Uh, in fact, I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you what we've got because Sam brought some bits for breakfast to save on money. So I got these six chocolate filled crepes. We've also got these Belvita breakfast biscuits. But we are currently having Mo Farah biscuits because who knew that Mo Farah had breakfast biscuits? So got a packet of these. Sam's had coffee? Tea? Yeah. Sam said coffee. Is it going down a tree? Is it? It's good. I needed the coffee. Mm-hmm. So we need to get sorted because the shops open at 10 and we want to be there for 10. Yeah. So if we leave a quarter to 10, yeah. everything will be good. I'll show the weather oh, outside. It's actually pretty decent this morning. Uh, we've got oh, Stena lines over here. Sam's little ferry boat's actually not there. She's obsessed with it. We're hoping to possibly go on it this afternoon. Um, and just as I was on about last night, the buildings are just stunning. And up here, there's a tiny little other liver bird up here. Um, but I will speak to you all later when we are shopping. Sam, where are we? Lego store. Lego store. We just bought. We, don't, we won't show. We can show in the room later. Okay, we we'll do a haul. <laughs> yeah, but they have the standard Disney castle. You've got Elsa's castle. This is all the Friends sets. Central Park, that's Joey and Chandler's and that's Monica's and Rachel's. We've got amazing like Winnie the Pooh sets. We've got Mickey and Minnie, Marilyn Monroe. There's just so much stuff. Taj Mahal, obviously Beatles, cause Liverpool. Um, oh, hold on. R2D2, I almost called him uh, BB-8 there. And all these heads, it's just amazing. Look how cool. And this is literally the second shop we've been in because we've already been to Pandora, but things need to be thought over in my head. Yes. And the Disney store is just along, so we're going to go there next. We have made it to the Disney store. I'm currently sat on the floor just looking at the mugs. Um, I'm going to get Laura a little present for looking after Ollie or feeding him <laughs> while I'm away. Can you just hold that please, my love? Thank you so much. In fact, no, you can show what I'm getting, Laura, because it won't matter. Jasmine, Jasmine. Beautiful. Very pretty. I might actually get the same one. Um, <laughs> it's just so pretty. But this is going to be like the last time because obviously this Disney store closes on the 20th. Yeah. By the time this vlog goes out, this store will probably be shut, which is actually really sad. But it's really full. They've got a bucket load of stuff. Like, it's still full, full. Um, I think I'm going to purchase the Pride towel. I think I'm gonna get that. Sorry, I'm a bit too close there, guys. You don't wanna be really close to my face, do you? Um, but they've got so much Halloween stuff, so I think I'll whiz round and show you the Halloween stuff. So if you're a Loungefly fan, I mean, they have all of these so Nightmare Before Christmas ones. <laughs> I love this one, because I love the fabric. Yeah. They always bring out Nightmare Before Christmas, don't they, for Halloween? And then you've got like the play sets, you've got all the plush. But this is, this is like the tea. This lounge fly is stunning. You've got the Halloween ears, the doormat. You could put a candle in this, couldn't you? It's not there, it's Sally's suitcase, look. Sally's suitcase. Oh, and there they are with their long legs. We've got the Mickey and Minnie. Oh wait, this is just Mickey, but look at his cute little waistcoat. It's so adorable. Sam was gonna buy this dress. It's super <laughs> duper cute though. And Minnie is literally here. Oh my God, she's got a tail. <laughs> she's adorable. I actually really like them. And I think they have the date. Yeah, they do. We have found, well, you can't miss the plush wall, to be fair. But the princesses are right on the end. You've got Pegasus, you've got some dwarfs, Grogu, Monsters Inc. 
Cruella stuff. Then you've just got your classic -y characters. And then we've got the Nuimos here. And we've got lots of outfits in the sale. And then over here, it's all the sale stuff. Um, again, with copyrighted music, it's kind of loud in here. So um, they do have quite a lot of stuff. I'll just do like a zoom round. And then that will be it for the Disney store. And we've got some purchases to make. So we have made it to one of the biggest Lush stores I've seen in my life. And it actually has an upstairs. It's so big. It's massive. Uh, I am gonna flip the camera on though because there's a Halloween table section and it looks amazing. Also, what is this spot all about? Gross. Sam has a lovely little thing to show us. Monster octopus shower jelly. <laughs> has he got eyes? Oh my god, it's really creepy. <laughs> Look at the scream masks as well. We've got ghosties. ghosties. We've got glittery bats. We have, of course, pumpkins. You can buy plants in here for the love of money. Um, pumpkin spice. Spoiler, I don't like pumpkin spice. The shotgun Sam's, I just don't like it. I'm not a fan. Does this glow in the dark? Ghost in the dark? It glows in the dark. That is insane. You can buy a wrap, a not wrap. It's insane. Lord of Misrule. You get this cute little box with loads of bits in it. This Lush is insane, like seriously. Just look at the size of it. Hair Lab, what's at the back? Perfume Library gift wrap section, the humongous Tillaria, Sam's half an eye. It's insane. I cannot get over it and it smells so good. We've made it to Primark. We went down to the men's section and there was literally zero Disney. There was like a couple of Marvel things, but other than that, it was so bad. So we're in the beauty section. Sam's not been able to find what she was looking for, which is a bit crummy, but we've got some cute angel headbands and then we've got this Stitch and angel stuff. We've got mirrors, brushes, paddle brush. And Sam just found these, which are Mickey exfoliating gloves, which feel quite nice. So they would be quite soothing to the face. Um, there's Mickey headbands and the, you know, the general face masks that look terrifying when you put them on. What's around here? Is this the saves the planet -y stuff yeah. again? So we've got lip balm with shea butter two pounds if anyone's interested in a price and then another one. Oh, so it's really cute so you can have you can pick mickey or minnie whoever your favorite is that's cute i might get one. Oh, and we got sparkly mini brush here so we need to go up to home which is on the third floor and men's was on minus one so hopefully oh there'll be some lovely homeware stuff for us to look at we literally just got off the escalator here. We need to go up another level, but we spotted Disney. So we, of course, had to come over and have a look. So soft. And um, yeah, they're so soft. There's Friends ones. There's just, oh, I got cute Tinkerbell. Oh, I love this Mickey one. I love the color. I like these. I just like the sign on it as well. It's just nice. It's and it's glittery and oh spotty bottoms was it yeah spotty bottoms we've got tinkerbell in these bottoms here i love this stuff here the just with plain disney if it wasn't for the fact it was a crop top i might have bought it um and you've got there's tinkerbell in that model too and then the final pair is stitch I might have to get some of these. Yeah, Sam, was, Sam, Sam wasn't buying any clothes in the Primark. It's pyjamas, is that clothes? We'll let you off, Sam, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've also got some Looney, Looney Tunes? Tunes? Tunes or Tunes? Oh, Tunes. 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 Just five more minutes. We could all do with five more minutes. 100%. And then, oh, there's just so much. I can't show everything. There's literally just, all oh, my PJs are Disney. We are now in the home section, which honestly isn't fantastic. Like, don't reckon much to it. But I've picked up this cookie cutter set, 
Um, there's only like two and a half stands, kind of. It's a lot of the same stuff as that we saw in Glasgow last month. So you've got the Bambi teapots, Winnie the Pooh stuff. Kind of they've merged Winnie the Pooh and Bambi together. I mean, it looks great together. I love the teapot and the mug set. I think it looks great. We've got um, some stitchy stuff, got throws. I love these um, mugs too. And this is all pink mini so with this really random throw in the middle of it all. So soft. <laughs> um, so this is the bacon stuff. I'm tempted by the bowl, but I'm not sure it's big. I feel like I would spill out the sides. Yeah. I feel like it needs to be taller. I would have to just put stuff inside of the bowl, I think. Um, I like this too, but I just bought a new whisk and I've already got two of these at home. So I'd be buying it for a jug. And a, yeah. But it is cute. And these are five pounds, five pounds. Um, we've got the cardboard hangers. I know. Three quid for three. Um, I have this bedding. Um, but I think I'm going to get this little plaque because, as you know, if you're a regular to the channel, um, kitchen wall is full of plaques. <laughs> so just may as well add another one on. Um, again, more bedding and just a couple of little things down here. And that is pretty much... Oh, hold on. Sam is showing us. I got some cloths. £2 before. And they're really cute. Um, and they totally the match this bedding and the mugs as well. So <laughs> it's very, very cute. And, oh, hold on. We've got Harry Potter, Bambi, and Looney Tunes and Stitch all on the same shelf. So we have made it to Taco Bell, which means we are finished shopping. We did a few shops, but if I didn't film in a shop, it was mainly because there was just music and it was loud and we were just trying to like get stuff done because we don't want to like... We have stuff to do this afternoon, basically. Um, we just want to make sure, and we don't want to be going out as late tonight. Because we were eating at half nine last night and that was ridiculous. Um, but I'm going to flip the camera around, show you the Taco Bell because Sam is looking like she really wants to dig in. We got a really big selection. So this is a Crunch Supreme. Crunch Supreme. We've got obviously little nachos with the sauce. The fries also have a sauce. A crunchy one, a soft one. This is just basically a wrap with cheese in it. We got two, one each and um, a couple of churros as well. Sam is about to try the nacho cheese sauce. Good. Cheese sauce is so good. It's, it's like, like, like American cheese. Like fake. Yeah, <laughs> fake cheese. Fake cheese. So I'm just gonna try this little <clears throat> half a taco that I cut with a fork. They didn't give us knives. Got like, well, technically a spark. Is what it is, right? Yeah. So here we go. Yeah, yeah the mince is good, the beef tastes good. That is very good. Anyways, I'm not going to film myself munching on camera. We're going to enjoy it. Um, and as I say, give full review and thoughts at the end. We have made it to Princess Dock. Um, we have been back to the room, but we have now popped down here. We're going to try and do the ferry across the Mersey, the little brightly coloured boat that Sam is obsessed with. But we're currently at sort of the Titanic Memorial, and it's also for all the marine engine, the people to do with the engine rooms, isn't it? Yes. Um, Heroes of the engine rooms. Yeah, so it's this monument here. It's really quite big, but it's got some really great detailing on it. There we go. Flipped around, it looks a lot better. So you've got like some gold effect with like the sun. Oh, right on the top. I'm not entirely sure what's on the top. Can you actually see the pigeon there in the Yeah, in this guy's lap, there's a <laughs> pigeon. But there's nothing major on this side. So if I just come round. Oh, that's the propeller of the boats. They are. Sorry, I'm just telling Sam. Sam's here as well, obviously. That's the propeller in like a wreath. That's nice. I like the symbolism of that. Um, and then I think round here 
it's just another couple of men, <laughs> if you can see that. We are, as I said, down by the docks. We have another lovely view. Today it was meant to rain, not a raindrop in sight. We have perfect sun. We've been really, really lucky with this weather as well. And there's another boat over here too. So we need to try and go this way, but I think we're gonna have to go back up to go around, right? Are we? Yeah, so um, we're gonna go and do that. And if we make it onto this boat, that should be the next thing that you see. So this is the ferry across the Mersey. This is called the Dazzle. And unfortunately, it's not actually running because we went in and thought we were joining a queue for tickets, but it was actually a queue for refunds. And the gift shop is currently closed because it's been taken over by the NHS. I think yeah, it's a vaccination center, so, um, which is fair enough. So unfortunately, we won't be going on it. And Sam is sad times. Sad times. <laughs> well, because of the whole ferry not working, <laughs> We've come to Beer Keller, which is a little beer garden that's kind of upstairs. It's like a German beer house. And we tried to order the house beer on the app and then it failed. And then the money was pending on my account. So I went in, spoke to a lovely lady and she told me that the house beer is actually Carlsberg. She said, I'd not go for that one. <laughs> so we got Warsteiner or something. And it's very nice. It hits the sweet spot on a hot day though, doesn't it? Yeah. So we're gonna have this, then go back to the room and get sorted for yes, the excitement of tonight. And I still can't believe how amazing the weather's been. It's so good. We've just left Beer Keller. It was nice, although we felt really trapped where we were sitting. <laughs> Wasn't it? It's such a pain to get out. Yeah, there's so many people. Um, so I just figured I would show you this little cute area here. So. There is, I think, supposed to be like a fountain in the middle, which I've never seen on yet. But it's just cute with all the water. And then that's the beer keller place there. We were tucked behind there, weren't we, behind the bushes. Um, and this was the Liverpool One shopping centre, so you just went through that way. And this is the Hilton, where a Liverpool footballer was staying last night. Um, and if you've noticed here, you've got the little coloured running men, or ladies, up there. But now we're gonna go back to the room and Sam is gonna start getting ready because she takes a little bit of time to get ready. <laughs> so we have these mini eye masks. So I will remove this so you can now see my face. <laughs> I've not done a very good job. It's cute that they're little bows. Um, Sam thought it was a good idea to try these because of our late night on Monday. And basically she was trying to tell me that my black bags were too big, so. We can't move our faces. They're not the best shape really for this, but they're cute. They were only 150, you just get the one um set in here, but yeah, they were 150, so we're gonna do this and then um I'm gonna start getting ready, but it literally doesn't take me long to get ready. I've got my outfit, just need to shower, get changed. Um and I will do an outfit of the day before I leave this room tonight. I will, I promise. Okay guys, so I did say I was gonna do an outfit of the day. I did one last night outside the hotel, but I figured I'd do one in for you. So I got this shirt for going to Bougie, which is pretty pink on the inside. That's where we're going first. Got a white t-shirt for just underneath. Got my new jeans again, and just the same old shoes. But I got, I wore pink socks too. Um, oh, and I've got my little Pandora on. The little Charlotte got me for when I left work. Um, and just my watch and that's it. And we're basically ready to go. I just need to sort this hair out and brush the teeths. And we're good to go. We have arrived at Bougie, Sam's rocking natural hair. I'm not sure I'm loving it. But... Oh, and her, her lovely red dress, surrounded by the pinkness of Bougie. I know. I know, so got the menu. It's very, very pretty. And they kind of have like a Mean Girls vibe on a Wednesday because like stuff's reduced for the pinkness. As you can see, it's quite pricey. Um, I've got a Pop My Cherry. Sam's got a strawberry daiquiri. Had a slight embarrassing moment with the waiter, but um, yeah. <laughs> so we were going to go to the Bollywood Market and just have one drink here, but we have decided not to because it's pink Wednesdays. So we have pink Prosecco on offer because we love an offer. 
So the bottle used to be a close to 30 and it's twin, no, 15, 15, close to 30. We've also decided not to do the Bollock Market, mainly because of Uber and Dead and Back. So we're going to go to ZZ's, which is in the background somewhere. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, it's Italian and we've both never been before. You sure you don't want to do Peaky Blinders? Are you filming? I am filming, but I'm asking <laughs> the question because Peaky Blinders was at the Bollock Market, like really close by. Like, really like, it's a big effort to get the people over there to do one drink of the blinders just to come back. We'll see, we will keep you posted. We have made it to the Peaky Blinders bar. Unfortunately, the plans for food completely and utterly fell through. Um, ZZ was no longer taking people just at nine o'clock and they didn't shut till 10, which is, that's fine. Um, TGI shut at nine, so we missed their, we missed everything. And I know I didn't film outside Bougie, but there was bouncers looking and there was people staring and I just didn't feel comfortable um, in filming the outside of it. So we've actually Ubered up to the Baltic market and even though it says it's open till 10, they're not taking people in either at nine o'clock, an hour before they close. Which is kind of disappointing, isn't it? Yeah. Especially an hour before, like half an hour before, fine, but an hour. So we've come to the Peaky Blinders bar, which is where we are. Uh, artwork, um, Tom Hardy's on the wall, just over there somewhere. Um, so I've got some Goose IPA thing, Sam's got Magners, but we're hungry though, right? Yeah, very. <laughs> so we think it's gonna have to be like McDonald's. KFC? Yeah, I'm going yeah. It's gonna have to be one, because there's nothing else to eat. But this is pretty decent, so we're just gonna chill in here and finish this and then figure out what the plan is afterwards. This was the Peaky Blinders bar, so it just kind of looks like a big old building. It was really nice on the inside, but again, there was music playing. Like, there's music playing outside right now. To the left was the Baltic Market, um, but we're going to go down this way because we're going to end up eating a McDonald's <laughs> at like 10 o'clock at night. Well, we were going to go to KFC. It said it shut at 11, walked well, past 10 o'clock, it was already shut, it was in darkness. So we've had to come to McDonald's. So I'll show you what we've got. Sam has a large quarter pounder with cheese, Selects. chicken selects, mozzarella dippers. I got savour menu, chicken bacon mayo, bacon double cheeseburger, fries, mozzarella. But we might win stuff. So we might have more free food, which I'm not gonna be mad at. My voice is still destroyed from Monday night, but it's the final morning. And I did say that I was gonna show you guys some purchases um, in part one of the Liverpool vlogs. Um, so I will show you the couple of things I was gonna show you in the first place, but the rest of it I'm gonna keep for a Liverpool haul video because I actually did buy kinda quite a bit. So I'll do a separate video um, instead. Um, this morning though we are going to be going to the cat cafe for half ten and then we have time to possibly maybe get some lunch before like an early lunch and um, before we get our trains our trains are two minutes apart and um, 12 45 and 12 47 so we'll get to wave each other off at the train station so um that'll be nice too but also sad so um, i'm just going to flip the camera around and show you the couple of bits that i got from the beatles story i got just two things I got this yellow submarine magnet because it was my favourite section, which you will see in part one of the vlogs, and this was 350. And I had to get the Matthew Street sign because I just couldn't not, um, even though they've spelt it wrong because mine has two T's in it. But um, this was also 350 as well. Then from the Maritime Museum, I got a couple of Titanic things. So I got this uh, fridge magnet, which I really like. Um, that was 450. And then a pack of playing cards is actually for Laura, um, just for looking Laura. Sorry, total blank moment. These are for Laura for looking after Ollie, my cat. The lighting is not fantastic, but I did say that we would do a taste test, um, but it has been filmed for Sam's channel. Uh, so if you want to check out full 
reviews and thoughts, um, go and check out Sam's channel. I will leave it linked below when she does decide to upload it. Um, but we're just going to show you everything that we did try right now anyways. So we tried two drinks. We had this ice cream flavour, which... Ice cream flavour. Sparkling water is what it was. It can be. Very nice. Matt's favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Melon milk. Uh, different. <laughs> uh, little cute koala bears. I've got one here. <clears throat> um, they're cute, but they're white chocolate on the inside. And I think I've maybe mentioned on the channel before, I'm not a fan of white chocolate. Um, and then we had two lots of crisps. Turtle chips, which were sweet corn flavour. You could definitely taste the sweet corn. And these are crablets, which were crab flavour. Oh, I'm not doing a very good job of showing you. Um, <laughs> yes, check out Sam's video to see which one I preferred. Ooh. Um, so yeah, that was everything that we tried. As I say, check out Sam's channel to see which stuff we liked. Um, it's now currently almost 10 o'clock. So we're basically just gonna get sorted to leave the room. We're already all packed. We've sorted out like rubbish and stuff. We've been quite good people, I think, to the to the hotel with this room. Yeah, it's right. With hard. sorting stuff out. So um just need to spritz on some aftershave and get cracking. And next up, cat cafe. We have arrived into the cat cafe. It's a lot better than the Newcastle one, just for reference. This one has three floors and it's just so nice. So we paid £12 each, but you get unlimited drinks over the hour. And I ordered two drinks because paid for it. Um, you pay for food for extra. Um, I'll do like a little pan of this room, but most of the rooms are the same, but all the cats seem to be on this floor. So you've got like the walking things on the walls. And up behind us here, and I will flip round because there's literally two cats about to like scrap fight. <laughs> We have this gorgeous cat here, and then we've got three in this. This one here has just been like watching the fight. We have all of their names here, but I think it's difficult to tell who's who. I'm not sure. The big ginger one, I think, is Rupert or Paddington. I think the Rupert's not more. Right, because are they on the floor as well? Yeah, there's a ginger one down there. He's oh. playing with his toy. Yeah. He looks like Rupert, I think. I think so. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You've been filmed, you've been watched. So this is Penny, I think from the photos. But she's currently padding, I think that's what they call it, padding? Yeah. My crotch area. So, but she is absolutely gorgeous, look at her. I hope she gets comfy. But she's so pretty. You're pretty girly. So we think my little friend was only after the butter. Because <laughs> as soon as we moved the plate, she didn't like it. But I got a cuddle and Sam didn't, so I'm winning at life. Sam, are you jealous? <laughs> but there is some loud people, which, eh. So anyways, got strawberry raspberry tea and I got a Fanta, as I said, and I paid extra for crumpets. So you get drinks included, but food is extra. Um, so there you go. Oh wow, yeah. So we think this is Paddington. We have my little friend Penny, who sat on me. Rupert. He does not like fuss, by the way. He just moved away before. <laughs> and I don't know who this one is here. The cat cafe is done, and we are now at the train station. We're like 45 minutes early, but we've just come to Upper Crust for lunch like a baguette um, I have the chicken Caesar Sam's gonna whip her baguette out and show us what's chicken in yours pesto. lovely and I got a bottle of water because I can take that on the train and that is it so I think I'm gonna vlog off because there's not really going to be anything else to see really so that is it. I hope you've enjoyed the Liverpool vlogs. Have you enjoyed your time, Sam? I have had a great time. That's amazing to hang out with. Hopefully he'll come do another trip with me again. <laughs> I will definitely at some point, yes. It's been very, very fun. But as with every trip you ever go on, you never have enough time. There was way more stuff that we could have done. 
But Liverpool's been a blast. It's a great city. Yeah. It really is. And when people say, it's really a good place to go to, they're completely right. Um, but yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed parts one and part two. Please do give it a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Comment down below for the hell of it. Um, hit the big red subscribe button. Tinkle the bell so you're notified when a video goes live. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. I've been Disney Matt. Thank you for watching. Bye.